god. And what's the next thing? This? You gotta give me that too? I'm not even gonna bother. I don't have the... Oh, we already needed to kill him then. Hmm. I had said um, before that I didn't want to do the final level when I did for Alex all like you know just do that when meeting up with someone and just doing one mission I'm afraid that's what I'm doing right now for Chase because the reason is is because of that just that and I just don't know how I'm going to get through with it. So I'm doing it just like that then. I have no idea how this is going to go. All I can hope for is that somehow we actually make it through this. So yeah. This is going to be it. I'm going to make sure that Nana and Seal have the right things. I don't even actually remember what I want. Oh, she definitely needs this. She needs that so she can heal me. And I need to make sure that even Seal has something like that. Healing radio around. Just do BB Cure Beam. And I want her to have... Damage Cut 3. I can see my claws, and I will not only amend them, I will Here we go. Them. Time to go through the final level and uh, beat it. You know, I think this person who basically, whose character is kind of like Neptune, they do like Neptune, did help me actually beat the first arc as Alex as well. So, they're gonna actually be there to help me beat the actual game! And I've been sitting here for probably about an hour, so I try to get help from the God Here community. Once again, really no help from it. Only one guy helped me and all of that. Let's do this. What's this Hope Connection escape? They're kinda of stop kind of stopping a few times. It's not gonna be good if they wag out, because if they wag out, then... That's how that is. Nothing I can do if they wag out. I'm just gonna have to quit. There's no way I'll make it. I mean, maybe if we get past the first one, then I'll attempt the rest of it. I'm just really worried about that freaking goblin and whatever. And whatever the final boss is gonna be, I don't even know how tough it's gonna be. Hmm. Oh yeah, they do have the, like, Neptune's voice as well. This is, the, yeah, they had that freaking strong bullet, so how can I not have them with me? In the end, multiplayer was the only way to really save this playthrough. I mean, I could have done it alone, yeah, but I would rather do it with people's help. This is if I did it alone, it would be taking a whole lot of time. Let out 
What's this save our freaking blood rage to? Let me Okay, here we go again. It's always good to run into someone that you've already played with. Kind of makes this a whole lot better to me. I mean, they freaking sat through the credits last time, so hey, since they're if they're still going to be there even after being the game, then we'll do the two other missions that need to be done, or three. I don't know how many more missions have to be. There's definitely some extra things, and I'll do that with Mimi here. That one better. A lot better than I thought it could have gone. That was only two more to go. It's the power of getting co op partners with ones who have like real special bullets. Which I have plenty of special bullets that I've copied from people. But you know, I can't really use them because I'm trying to up the stuff for my guns, so. Where's this shit? Hopefully the final cutscene uh, isn't going to get blocked out. If not, I'm going to get my phone real quick. I doubt it will be, though. I mean, I can always go back to watch it, so... But still, first-hand reactions, you know. That second attack really doesn't move up, but what's the matter? Let's possibly get a thumbnail going on here. If we don't, you know, somehow get to the last part. Okay, we're good, let's go. And I am in a lot better, a whole lot better mood than I was earlier. So I want to talk about a few things then before we get to the last mission, which is that is what we are on, but last part of it. I think those red, weird skull-looking things we've been fighting while saving, like son of a bitch. Ow. Okay, freaking interruption. So I was trying to say before that, um, that those things we've been finding while saving Nana, Seal, and Gil, and the one we had to fight before that, which looked like some weird Grim Reaper looking thing, and then they were talking about blood powers, like Gil had talked about that Congo we were fighting, he had something to do with Nana's blood power. And then when we fought that Grim Reaper looking guy, um, they mentioned Chase's blood power. So there's something about those origamis in our blood power. Like they could feel our blood power within them. Which is kind of strange. Don't think that's gonna reach Seal, and it sure didn't. Oh jeez, why are you here? Well, then me and Nana will handle these things. Oh, was there anything else I wanted to mention? 
while I'm in a much better mood. I don't think there really was. I sure don't like when we were looking through Nana's little pass that Rachel was trying to say, Oh no, these friends don't care about you. That's terrible. You think they care about you at all? Like, what the hell, Rachel? Can't wait to put her in the ground, and that's coming up real soon. The sun's going down and you're gonna die today. Well, we'll have this thing dead before then. Haha. Roger Tail, get some more blood XP. They got so much more than I do right now. Damn, that thing's dead too. I can make it, I think. I got it. gotten consumable items. Alright. Only one more, it says. Time to end this. I think. I think this is it. Is it if it is if it's not, I'll be a little surprised. Here it is, the end. Ah, jeez, look at him. You have dispelled the fog of deceptions, and so we'll see the end clearly. <laughs> Dr. Rachel. Our drama has already been written. The rises and falls, the fear and doubt and pain. The restless God and I crafted the finale long ago. Only you, my loved ones, still refuse to play your appointed parts. You struggle in vain upon the stage that I have built. It saddens me that I must rewrite your lines for a far more tragic end. But at the least, you will be remembered. In this new mythos, you will be cast as villains. Mm -hmm. Traitors, vile and pathetic, who tried and failed to stop the coming of the dawn. The second creation. Enough already! Give Julius back! <laughs> Please, your sweet words and strong voices are wasted on him. Julius is mine, as he always has been. Behold, how he heeds his mistress now. Come, Julius. It's time to wake up. Let free the shadow upon these skies. Oh boy. Julius! Hold on tight, Julius! You gotta fight it! We won't let Dr. Rachel have you! Just get your guns and start shooting her then. Captain, let's do it! Together, Julius and I will see my spiral tree bear fruit. We need 
did little else. Then what are you going to turn into? Something ugly, I presume. What is this? Okay. That's... Definitely something creepy. Of course. The proscenium broken. Only your sacrifice is required now. As Romeo fell, so must you all. Breathe life into my new world. We'll see about that. Just another monster. Nothing different. This is gonna feel great. Time to give you what you deserve. Wait, what did I just do? Get that. Here we go. Whoa! They got that damage already? No way! This thing's gonna be done within seconds. And you deserve all of this, Rachel. For killing Romeo, taking Julius, and for all the children you sacrifice for your stupid experiments. Even for your old man. And the pain you put your sister through. You're gonna go straight to hell, where you belong with your so-called gods. You know I eat your kind. But seriously, the chase is dealing with far worse than Alex could have. He dealt with something that could have been stronger the more it, you know, moved on. Now Rachel's just dealing with someone with a god complex. Wait. Yeah, I said that. Did I? I feel like I said this wrong. This boss ain't tough. All the Nova was quick and freaking insane. This thing doesn't really move as much. You really were nothing in the end, Rachel. And it's kind of sad that you're not even a worthy opponent. You're just another damn spider creature thing. Not anything strong. Everyone's been waiting for this moment. I have the most. Keep on laughing, you get nothing. I'll take that, and I'll do this again. Looks like you don't even have any bonds left to break. It also seems that the person who was here with me has actually lagged out. I didn't even notice that. Well, you know what? I thought I might have needed them, but this ain't even that tough. They helped me through the first part greatly, though. That Chrome Goblin would have been the freaking vein of my existence as it already was before. Take that, bitch. Rest in hell, Rachel. No one's speaking. <sighs> yeah, I, I know. I, I noticed. 
Right. Let's do this. It's over. And I think it's because my internet's going out, because even the video clip I'm trying to upload has failed. Eh. You done yet? That doesn't work. It's coming from underneath you! Ah. She's going for Julius. Gonna rip him out of that. They will never take away my Julius. We must stop her. The singularity could tear open. What is she? What? What? She just shoved Julius into her chest. We destroyed the thing and is now praising him like he's Simba. Oh, right into your chest. You best get out of there, Chase. Oh. Is he all right? Ah. You. Welcome back, Julius. Nana. Captain. It's... It's good to see you. We can chat later, Julius. First, we gotta get you out of here. What do you say? So what happened here? Before the devouring apocalypse could break free, Rachel destroyed the core that held you. She, she never wasn't was. Herself. Not anymore. Tearing away the singularity would cause untold destruction. Or, so Rachel said, devastation far beyond that of an apocalypse itself. I see. That's why. My friends, I'm so sorry. If I'd been strong enough... Julius! 
You... you're not alone anymore. We're strong now. We're strong together. Every one of us. And Romeo. Yes. I'll follow wherever you lead, Captain. Everyone, are you ready? Yeah! It's about damn time. Of course. I am ready to begin. And me. Let's do it. All right, Captain. At your command. This must be the... maybe the mass blood rage? Part now. gonna go like everywhere Jesus what did we just do are we this light is Romeo's power now as you wished I no longer speak with the restless God here there is only silence. In that quiet, I can sense your voices. For the first time, I feel some measure of peace and serenity. It's wonderful. One final request. One last test for you all, one I know you will pass. Farewell, and live, my blood, my loves, my children. Hmm. Team 1, entering Oracle Cell Deactivation Zone. Switching to Auxiliary. All clear. Remember, everyone, you've got less than 30 minutes in there. Proceed with the utmost caution. Over. What did they do? They stopped the apocalypse, but what else could they have done? Was it really only just deactivating the entire apocalypse? Whoa. No, they birthed something beautiful. Why are we in this? 
This kind of reminds us of the beginning. Ah. Why are we in this outfit? Captain, do you know what happened? Where are we? Whoa. You don't think we're dead, do you? Well, if we're dead, then Maybe. Chase is in a terrible outfit. Look, no armlets anymore. Feels good, huh? No way! That's a sign! No! Oh, man, we're totally for sure dead now. Well, you seem rather lively to me. Your hair's back to normal, my man. Lizzie! Wait, does this mean we all died together? No, I don't think so. This is our world. Reborn after the apocalypse. So you mean we just reset time? You mean everyone in the Far East? The whole entire world's just been... devoured? Nana, nah. take a look at the mountain in the distance. I'm almost certain it's formed of oracle cells. Perhaps. <laughs> Even the same cells that once formed the spiral tree. Jeez. So, you believe the devout... Don't you? Godark. His real power must have changed the oracle cells. So instead of bringing the far end. more gradual now, not an apocalypse to devour, but slow, like the shifting of the Earth's crust. He rebuilds it. So we stopped it. All of this is over. We think so. For the moment, at least, this devouring apocalypse is no threat to us. Its power has dissipated. All of this is Romeo. Yeah, thanks for helping out, Romeo. You're always awesome. Who could have known? I gotta hand it to the kid. That power, whatever it really is, managed to save this world. It's incredible. Yeah, it's really amazing. It's perfect. I couldn't have said it better. Such a beautiful world. Serene, lovely, bright. A place like this could be paradise. Maybe our world was always like this before the Aragami arrived. Hundreds or thousands of years ago, maybe every site held such hope. You know, that's kind of true. It would look like this minus hey, all the white stuff. Look over there! A helicopter! Looks a like our distraction. Party. You think it's for us? Time to go home. But first, I had a question to ask you. Captain. I, Julius Visconti, wish to be reinstated as a member of the Blood Unit, for now and evermore. Will you... will you still have me? What the heck, you guys? You'd think he'd been gone or something. <gasps> what? <gasps> it's impossible. Oh, and, uh, quick question. Where are we? My man, you act like you were never dead! This guy acts like he never died. <laughs> wow. Just look at what they created. Beautiful. And mysterious. I'm a bit peeved that the outfit has changed for no damn reason. Shit, what the? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Well, shit. Um, what do we do? Dr. Sakaki's waiting for us. Branch director's office. Okay. Ah, uh, it's you. Did you get enough rest? How have you been feeling? No news is good news in this case. Your medical check results just came out a minute ago. Actually, absolutely no trace of bias factor or organ cells were detected in your bodies. So basically, they just did a full restart on themselves. You're totally healthy, almost like newborn babes. The attending position was flawed, as am I. Your blood rage unlocked the potential of Romeo's God Arc and stopped the devouring apocalypse. However, it hasn't stopped entirely. Even now, the apocalypse is still moving. Almost in whatever. 
we were reborn as humans. His wife, Reac we. I can't even say the word. I know it, but I can't say it right now. From inside the devouring apocalypse. In a manner of speaking, we can't say anything for sure yet. It may be explained more clearly after further research. As for what you should do next, that is completely up to you. They are your own lives, after all. Live as a normal human, so become God Eaters once again. We will support you in any path you choose. The medical checks of the other blood members should be finished soon. They're gathering in the lounge. Why don't you discuss among yourselves how you want to move forward? What kind of life you all want? The music right now is real happy. So I can't go in this. Can't change the- hold on. I know how to fix this outfit situation right now. I'll, I'll buy this- oh no wait. Yeah, the- it was- shit, was it scythe top? Oh, it went to storage. <laughs> it went to storage, dude. Oh. Huh. Wonder what these are all about. I'll have to check those out, but it seems as much as I might want to try changing the outfit, that ain't happening. I now have another freaking variant scythe outfit for no reason. Haha, <laughs> everyone's all good in the hood. Finally, the day has come where all the members of Blood are back together, here again. Go speak with everyone first. Romeo kept saying he wanted to talk with you during his medical check. Oh man, I got so many things I want to ask you. Tell it to me straight, cause, like, I'm so clueless here. First, what happened with that Marduk? Julius was like, ask the captain, I'm like, uh... You are the captain, and he says that you're the captain, and I'm like, what? Plus, like, I had a funeral? I'm seriously so pumped that you know saying there, but like, I didn't even get to hear it, even though it's my funeral. Wait, uh, okay, I guess that's pretty standard, but no, hold on, that's not my point. My point is, Julius is talking about stuff like, uh, Spiny Tree and Dr. Rachel. I'm seriously lost here. Then I wake up in some place called Sacred Ground, and Livy, who I haven't seen in forever, is in blood. Phew, it feels good to get it all out, you know? I mean, I still feel like I'm dreaming or something. Yeah, I knew it. I guess you're right. The thing I do remember is when the Godark soldiers stopped. Then, it's a little hazy. But Julius is crying face. After that, it was all like a dream. I can barely remember, but everyone seemed to be in trouble. But I couldn't move, you know? It was so irritating. Then at the end, I could hear everyone's voices. Livy's too. And then Dr. Rachel was talking. Yeah, that's right. That's when I woke up in the sacred grounds, so I don't know, but... Everyone keeps telling me how bad Dr. Rachel was, but I can't picture that. I mean, her voice was so kind. Now that I've lost my armlet, every time I hear the origami attacking the Far East, I wonder... Why am I here? Why does this hand not hold a god arc? I want to protect those important to me, with my own hands. I always hated my power, you know? Origami would come, so I had to always be alone. But now I'm thankful. It's because of that that I was able to join board and meet all of you. I caused a lot of trouble for you all, but I think I want to stay with everyone as a god eater. I. D no, stop. Stop it! Oh gosh darn, I'm trying to talk to Livy. As of today, I am officially a new member of Blood. I look forward to working with you. Captain, for some reason, it's a little embarrassing to call you that. Let me know if there's anything I can do. If it is within my power, I would be happy to help. I'm sure you heard it as well, but Rachel's last words were that she wished trials upon us. Could returning to being a regular human be the trial she meant, or might it mean something more? Anyway, the outcome is the same. We'll keep fighting the good fight for this world. Together. Back then, when you came to save me with Yuno, I told you to let me do it on my own, but in the end, I couldn't keep my promise. <laughs> really are too nice sometimes, you know that? That reminds me. I want to talk with everyone blood while we're about where to go from here. 
talking with everyone can perhaps wait until you've talked with everyone individually, or is now better. Got it. Let's get everyone together soon to talk about the future of blood.